Hello church, welcome to Sunday worship. Hey, before we start, can I ask you guys a simple question? Whose child are you? Are you guys pretty good at identifying the baby to their parents? Well, 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 let's see how good you guys are. Let's do a round of Guess Who's Baby? Are you guys ready? I think you are. Now this animal loves to play in the mud, just like her mom. Any guess on what this animal is? Come on guys, say it out loud, I can't hear you. Hmm, some say elephant and others say pigs. Hmm, now the answer is Drum roll, please. Pigs. How many of you guys got this right? Hey, good job. All right, next one. Mm. Now this animal sometimes, not all the time, steps on his nose, unlike his mom. I mean, what? A nose? What kind of an animal has a long nose? Hey, wait. What animal has long nose, everybody? That's right, an elephant. Sometimes baby elephants accidentally step on, on their own nose. Now, isn't that so cute and silly? Now, on to our next one. Now, this one is constantly looking for his or her mom. And they cry every single time, every single day, non-stop. And they're very good at following what their mom or dad does. Now, who is the mommy or daddy? Humans! Yay! Hey, let me ask you guys a question. Who do you guys look like? Your mom or your dad or your grandpa? Or someone really handsome or pretty? How about your personality? Did you know that we are all called the ch children of God? Now wait, what? How is that even possible? Well, let's find out. In Romans chapter 8, verse 14 and 17, it says, only those people who are led by God's Spirit are His children. God's Spirit doesn't make us slave or afraid of Him. Instead, we became His children and call Him our Father. God's Spirit makes us sure that we are His children. His Spirit lets us know that together with Christ, we will be given what God has promised we will also share in the glory of Christ because we have suffered with Him. Church, the Bible tells us that if we decide to trust in Jesus, God gives us the Holy Spirit and make us His children. Now let's pause for a second. How many of you guys act or think like your parents? I know sometimes we may not want to act or think like our parents, but we do. I mean, because we spend so much time with them, and also it's because we love them. And if you love someone, we want to be more and more like them, right? So if we trust in Jesus and accept Him to be our personal Lord and Savior, you want to be more and more like Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit gives us power and ability to become more and more like Jesus. Things will no longer be the same. What you think and do changes. Now this is incredible. This means that the Holy Spirit will help us to say no, no, and no to sin. 
God is our Father. We don't need to be afraid of making mistakes. Our Father is full of love, and He cares for us. And if we say, Father, I don't know what to do. Will you please help me and forgive me? God will do that. And because uh, uh, he'll do that because he is our father. If we are on God's side, we are in good hands. Have you guys ever been in trouble or been hurt? How did you feel when your parents came in to rescue? You probably went, Ooh, now I don't need to worry. Can you take care of this problem? Or, or I'm hurt right here. Can you do something about this? Did you know that God cares for us? And he always has incredible, incredible plans for us. We will all face problems and suffering in our lives. I'm sorry to say this, but all of you guys will face problem and suffering one day. Oh no, what do we do? Hey guys, but don't worry. God has a plan for you, even in the midst of your problem and suffering. Romans chapter 8, verse 28, it says, We know that God is always at work for the good of everyone who loves him. They are the ones God has chosen for his purpose. Now, Paul also wrote that the Holy Spirit helps us when we are weak. When my daughter Elise was born, she was in a critical condition. The doctors would come to me and say, we don't know if she'll survive. I was very hopeless, but God gave me hope. He gave me and my husband a thankful heart. We were able to go through hardship with thankfulness. Now, without the Holy Spirit, this would have been impossible. In the midst of my suffering, in the midst of my very uncomfortable and hard, scary circumstances, I was able to see God's wonderful work, His wonderful plan. Church, when God is with you, you can do everything because you are your daddy, our God, our Abba Father is right by our, by our side. Romans chapter 6, verse 31 and 32 says, What can we say about this? If God is on our side, can anyone be against us? God did not keep back his, his own son, but he gave him for us. If God did this, wouldn't he freely give us everything else? God gave us greatest gift, which is Jesus Christ. And God is our, he is on our side. So who can be against us? I want to challenge you guys to fully trust in God's plan and remember that our loving Father is on our side and He cares for you, for us. I want you all to remember that we are a child of God and as a child we need to be uh, changed every day to be more and more like Jesus Christ. Amen? Let's pray. Dear Lord, um, God, we thank you for sending Jesus so that we can be called your children. Thank you, Lord, for adopting us as sons and daughters. You are our Heavenly Father, and you love us, and you care for us. We want to live lives that brings glory and honor to you. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it for today, boys and girls, and I'll see you guys next week. But before I let you guys go, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'll see you guys next week.